Hi, welcome. This video is going to um, show you how to find the volume of a cylinder when you're given the picture. Um, first, we might as well start with the formula. Um, well, actually, let me just start with what the volume is. The cylinder is like a soup can, if you think of it that way. The volume is um, the amount that we could fill that with. So volume fills in that three-dimensional shape. All right. And the volume formula for this is pi r squared h. Um, what you'll see sometimes in textbooks and such, at least out here in Massachusetts, is you'll see that the volume of any three-dimensional figure is noted like this. Um, v equals BH. And the capital B is significant. That just means that the area of the base. Um, and that's um, one way that they can kind of just lump all of the formulas together. Find the area of the base, multiply it by the height, which would be the distance between the bases. Um, if you notice, if we take, if we look at our formula up here, this here is the area of the base, and that's your area for a circle. So the base of a cylinder is a circle. Um, regardless, you don't need to know all that. You just need to know how to use the formula. So if we look at our picture here, the cylinder that we're given below, um, they actually label that the height is two, and the radius, which is halfway across that circle, is three centimeters. So for the volume, it is pi, which we're going to use 3.14 times our radius, which is 3 squared, times h, which is 2. Um, most, most classes will let you use a calculator because you're using pi. So um, 3.14 times 3 squared, um, and then times 2. And if you type it in all at once in your calculator, most calculators these days can do the order of operations like any scientific calculator will. Um, your um, TI-83's phone calculators. I'm not sure if that's always the case. Um, but anyways, you get, for an answer, 56.52. And for units on volume, since you're filling something up, we're multiplying centimeters times centimeters times centimeters right here. And so our answer will have to be in centimeters cubed. Keep in mind that just because we have centimeters cubed in our answer, we're not cubing any numbers, all right? I used to think that when I was in high school. I would get so confused um, took me a while to kind of figure out what it meant. All right, next problem here. Um, our top one, we have that the height is 10, uh, so that's going to equal height. And uh, now this is not our radius. This is our diameter. It goes all the way across the bottom circle or the base. So our radius is going to be half of that. So if we do 7 divided by, oh, that's terrible. Let's see if I can undo some of that. My typing, my handwriting is not good. We're going to divide by 2, and that's going to give us 3.5. Okay. What was our, vo our volume formula? I'm going to put it right at the top. It is pi r squared h. Again, I encourage my students to write out, before you grab a calculator, write out what you're going to type in. So I'm looking at this, and I'm just going to put in what we know. Pi is 3.14. Show multiplication by opening a parenthesis, r, our radius is 3.5. We're going to need to square that. Times, again, I'm using times using a parenthesis to show it. The height is 10. And I am going to just do that on my calculator. And then you will get 384.65. All right, and again, units, we have inches this time, but our inches are going to be cubic inches. Okay, all right, and our last problem, again, if you're feeling pretty good about this, maybe um, hit pause, figure out the volume of this bottom cylinder, and then come back and see if you get it right by hit and play. All right, so our height is 8 centimeters. I like to label my pictures. This is our diameter is 12, so that means that our radius is half of that, which is 6. Again, volume is pi r squared h. Now I'm going to put in the numbers that we know. Pi is 3.14. Our radius is 6. Height is 8. All right. And again, just grab the calculator, type it all in, hit enter, and that equals 904.32 centimeters cubed. There you go. It's a pretty straightforward thing. Um, I think if there were mistakes that I've seen made after years of teaching, it's realizing or forgetting to realize that they give you the diameter and having to find the radius. Um, otherwise, the, the formula is pretty straight. 
forward if you're not using a calculator the r squared sometimes throws people off people think they're doubling what the radius is but no you're multiplying the radius by itself so that's just kind of a, an arithmetic error that can happen um, and the only other thing I guess I could say would be mistakes is they forget the units are cubic units um, but other than that I hope that this video has helped and I hope you feel more confident about finding the volume of a cylinder